It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Gladys and co. are outside the Temple of Ball, my old stomping grounds. As a Dark Urge player, we of course found out a little while ago about my past. I am a ball spawn and was the leader of this temple until my sister, Orin, took me out. Ultimately, it was a good thing, because while being experimented on by the Absolute, I gained a conscience and uh, a good old grandmotherly instinct. But regardless, we need to go teach Orin a lesson. Also, Orin has kidnapped our friend Lazel, and we can't let that slide. Uh, it's been so long we've been trying to tra track down the Temple of Ball. Unfortunately, Gladys didn't have any memories of it. But after much trial and error, we literally had to murder the murder tribunal, which I know, very, very ironic. Um, oh my god, there's traps everywhere, which maybe I shouldn't be so surprised. I need to disarm these and get up to the door. I actually just saw someone. Can you see who's sitting on the step up there? Our good, mysterious friend, the butler. I'm gonna do my best to avoid the trap. So far, so good. Everyone just follow grandma, please. Single file. Don't step on the traps. Okay. This is why you shouldn't have grandkids, folks. They don't always listen. Anyway, hello. Long time no see. Oh, master, master, master. You have come home to your royal dwelling. <laughs> but why did you exert yourself so getting here? I was waiting to open the door. Lady Odin told me to allow your passage, but if she hadn't, I would have been naughty and slipped you inside anyway. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, but what you're saying is I went through the whole tribunal when you could have just opened the door? Yeah, I would have told you so, but didn't dream of interrupting when you were enjoying yourself so. So what were you doing this whole time? The temple is all tidied and ready for your worshipful act of mortal combat. The eye sockets of our graven god's icon are all polished up, ready to glow menacingly as you bludgeon your sister to death. <laughs> I've restacked every pile of skulls and mounted more skeletons on the walls for a cozy touch. Wow. Thank you. When I think cozy, I definitely think skeletons. I'm so glad he's prepared the quarters for mine and my sister's bludgeoning <laughs> to the death. Uh, so you're saying you've seen Orin? We are unfortunate bunkmates, as she refuses to leave your estate. Every day she kills me as I'm trying to beautify the temple for your return. Up to thrice, some days. What the heck? Being killed by you is... So much more pleasurable, Master. <laughs> well, glad to know someone's on my side in this whole thing. Uh, but anyway, uh, open the door, please. A thousand succubi could give me no greater delight. There's a puddle of blood on the floor as you walk in. Careful, don't slip. Thank you. Appreciate the warning. This is so messed up, but yet so funny. <laughs> Oh, shout out to Scalaritus Fell, a true butler. There's the puddle of blood he was mentioning. Everyone be careful. And who do we have here? I hear you are to duel Lady Orin. If it pleases you, child of murder, I would have her carcass once you're finished. Uh, why? Oh, nothing untoward. I simply wish to flay her. Oh. Oh, such skin she has. Oh, so fine and malleable. Oh, what a trophy it would make. Okay, then. Who am I to deny such a request, I guess? So many people are here to meet me. Hello. They say you will fight her. Lady Orin. Will, will you shatter her skull? Break... A bone break. Uh, you'll just have to wait and find out. Man, the whole party is just being inspired walking through the doors here. <laughs> so much inspiration. Hello? Shh. Speak not. Silence is precious. 
to die for. And Lady Orin is already too loud. From the sounds of things. Talking. She speaks of you. Of a duel. Are you going to choke her prattle away? Make her quiet for us. Yes. Quiet. What I was gonna say there is it doesn't seem like Orin's very uh, very popular. I see her down there actually. In front of that big skull that apparently the butler has shrined his eye sockets just for the occasion. There's a lot of people in here. More people than I thought. talking about who is this lens the journalist oh no that is a lot of blood it is like up to my ankles okay not that i expected anything less but orin's clearly been on a murder spree all right let's do this oh is that lazel look your savior approaches <laughs> get your hands off her you creep See how it crawls towards us. Not a dream now. No, no. It is blood and bone. Carrying the tyrant's rock. But Saravok's crimson was not yours to spill. He was mine. You had no right to take him. Did it think it could protect? Did it think it could save? Only the blades can offer salvation. I did what you asked. I killed Gortash. So let her go. Difficulty class 25. Oh god. Oh god, we are rolling with advantage, but this is gonna be a tough one. Come on, Gladys. You need all your persuasion now. We need to save Lazel. Oh my god, are you serious? Well, guess we're using uh, a point of inspiration that we gained when we walked in here. Those were the worst rolls ever. All right, redo. Much better. Phew. I knew Gladys's wily nature would come through. You do not lie, underling. It is your blood I am destined to spill. Your death spit will stain these walls, little lamb. <gasps> you still don't remember, do you, bloodkin? <laughs> Whoa. Does my knife slit your skull? Your brain juices. Sticky and sweet. A little hole, big enough for the worm. Your body, a blood sack to feed it. The favorite of Baal turned meat puppet, strung up by the sinews and plucked by my hands. The truth you had forgotten. You were the favorite, the chosen. Orin was your subordinate. Not a very good the subordinate by the sound of it. Orchestrated the absolute plot. It was your genius, your cruelty, your design. At your moment of greatest triumph, when all the pieces were in place, she betrayed you, infected you, and took your place. Maggot, a ball spawn, slip sliding in filth with these pigs. You don't deserve the murder lord's blessing. And you do? My grandfather ruled this city. A slaughterhouse ripened for my blades. And you stole it! Enough, enough, enough! 
The rent must be cold. Come close, my death's heads, but keep your blades unblooded. Bor demands a Jew. He wants to taste my domination. An altar flowing with his own unwilling flesh. Draining, dying. Drip, drip, drip. You should have trained harder, master. Wow. I gotta fight that? And it seriously has to be a one-on-one -on -one duel? When she said duel for some reason, I thought that meant I could still have my friends here. Oh God. Are you serious? I gotta fight this thing? What the hell? Can you guys come help? Yes, we can. Okay, but them coming in means that the rest of them will attack me. I don't care. There's no way Gladys can beat that thing by herself. Gladys is literally already dead. Okay. Oh my god, this is insane. To think we've come full circle that I was actually the one who started this whole absolute thing. And right in the final hour, I was betrayed. Obviously, as I've said before, I'm- it all turned out for the best. Because apparently getting a worm put in my brain made me develop a grandma conscience. Uh, you know, I'm a much better person now than I was before, so if anything... Thanks, Orin, for that. Uh, but the issue is, I still can't let her get away with it. Girlie literally murdered me. Not only do we now want to stop the absolute plot, but there's definitely a little inkling of me that just wants revenge. I was betrayed in the absolute worst way. Behold the dance of death. Man, what even is she right now? She's a level 12 monstrosity. She's entered her slayer form. She has the unstoppable condition. She's resistant to everything. Can make a million attacks at once. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. The issue is, because I interrupted the duel, we've now gotta fight all these other people too. So I gotta put down... some things around here to help us out. Let's heal Gladys best we can. I mean, I don't really feel bad for not following the rules of the duel. Clearly, Orin doesn't follow the rules of anything. Uh, why is he giving Orin boons? What about me? Is it because I broke the rules of the duel? That's just rude. What did she get? She got more unstoppable, so I still can't touch her. What? How are we gonna win if he keeps giving her boons? Well, the boons aren't enough. Apparently, Carla hits so hard that she can get right through the boons. Because she did a little bit of damage there, even though she has unstoppable. Oh my god. She is messing up Shadowheart, but Shadowheart messed her up right back. Let's go. Okay. Uh, see, the issue is, is I don't know if I should be attacking these guys or if I should be attacking Orin. I don't know who to focus on. Um, let's see. Let's do Kona Cold. Did that kill her? No. We all got experience points for some reason, so I was I was confused for a second there. Oh, because it killed that that person. Okay, that's why. Let's do Sunbeam. Let's see if I can yeah, I can hit her too. Nice. And then let's wild shape. 
Rawr. Bear Alson is here. Okay, those guys are still burning. I'm gonna hit her with the best we've got. Bolt of Celestial Light. 35% chance to hit. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That won't do. Moonbeam? Yeah. Ah, that broke her concentration on the moonbeam. Darn. Ball, stop favoring her. She sucks. Favor Grandpa instead. Even though I don't want anything to do with you. I would still still love a favor, you know? Yes, Carlac. Carlac's doing good damage. These guys are burning to death. We'll take it. We can do this, guys. We can do this. She's still blinded from the moonbeam. You can tell she's hiding her, her face. What are we gonna hit her with now? Another cone of cold? See, unstoppable blocks most of that, unfortunately. Let's do spirit guardians. Mess him up, Halson. Yeah, it's so hard because she keeps getting seven unstoppable charges at the end of each turn. You tell him, Gladys. Me. Why am I not Ball's favorite anymore? Also me. I hate Ball. I'm just a nice grandma now. <laughs> Can't have your cake and eat it too, I guess. As much as I want to. Alright. Let's do... What's our best, best move? Menacing attack. Nice. Gladys, I'm gonna get Gladys to heal. Just Gladys. Mass cure wounds, yeah. You, you, you. Me. Nice. Play a little ditty for Halson. Alright, what are we doing next? I feel like every single turn is so important. Do as much damage as possible. I should try to hit that guy too, I guess. So perhaps we'll do uh, an AoE type thing. Fortunately, I've used my uh, my greatest spell slots. I don't really have much AoE. I'm gonna do Bolt of, S oh, Bolt of Celestial Light. It's only 35% chance to hit. Uh, let's do a glyph. Gotta place it so only hits these guys. There we go. Alright, bear. Do as much damage as you possibly can. I know she has unstoppable, but it's all we can do. Stop it, Paul! So annoying! <laughs> I mean, I guess at least Ball isn't coming down here to fight us himself, so... I suppose, in, in some ways, I should be thankful that he's just granting boons, because it could be a lot worse. Also, thank God for Karlak. I mean, how many times have I said that in this run, period? She is doing all the damage here right now. Ball may be trying to make Orin unstoppable, and Karlak just says, yeah, no, I don't care. I don't even care about that.
obviously hoping that when Orin goes down, everyone else stops fighting me. They shouldn't have any reason to when she's dead, but they may just get caught up in the murder spree, I suppose. Keep it going, Carlac. Keep it going. Add a girl. Not doing much damage because the unstoppable keeps kicking in, but doing as much as we can do. Okay. What's next for you, Gladys? We're getting to the point where I'm using a lot of my best spells. Let's do Scorching Ray Shot. Nice. I got rid of a few blasts of Unstoppable, and then let's do a Pommel hit. Ah, oh, it missed. I wanted to try to get rid of as much of the Unstoppable as I could. I think I'm just gonna get Shadowheart to focus on healing. Get out of the murderous dagger cloud. Keep healing, Shadowheart. Oh, Gladys. Your insults never fail to make me giggle. Even in moments such as these. Orin, how does it feel to know you would have been dead long ago if it wasn't for your daddy coming in to save you? You wouldn't be able to touch us if you didn't have Ball helping you out here. That's right, you're nothing without your dad, Orin. You're just a loser. She's down to 33 health. Come on. We got this. Heal again. Heal some more. Like I need you to finish this. We're running out of spell slots. The longer this goes on, the harder it's gonna get. Come on. Yes. 17 health. 14 health. 11 health. Ah, so close! Leave Karlak alone, you monster! Alright, Gladys, what do you got for us? Cloud of Daggers. Got rid of some unstoppable charges. I'm gonna heal Karlak. She's the only thing that's gonna get us a victory right now. Shadowheart, I need your best attack. What is your best attack? I'm always so nervous to use Shadowheart for attacking, because I'm like, God knows she's just gonna miss. Got a 60% chance to hit with uh, with Guiding Bolt. I wish we had an AoE, though. An AoE ability so we could take a few of them. I'm wondering, do we even risk it? Or do we just heal? I think we should just heal. I'm not in a risky mood right now. Let's get out of that cloud of daggers. And do a little bit more healing on Karlac. Allison can finally move again. All right. Let's get some bear attacks in. Maul him, Allison. The last attack didn't line up. Hang on. There it is. You can heal, too. She's got 18 health. I love how that guy ran back into the Cloud of Daggers after he had left it. See, the issue with Orin is that she keeps healing up a little bit too on each of her turns. She's getting so close to death. She's 18 health, come on! Oh, what did Karlak get hit with? She's only got a 12% chance to hit now. Contagion poisoned. Affected entity has disadvantage on attack rolls and checks. Each turn it must succeed a saving throw or the poisoning will worsen. On three successes it recovers, on three failures it contracts a disease. 
Oh. Okay, we gotta end our rage. That gives us a 25% chance to hit, which is gonna be the best we've got, I think, unless we use one of my scrolls. No, they've all got even lower. All right, Karlak, 25% chance. Can you do it for me? Yes, she can! Yes! Okay, she's down! Oh my god. I'm like literally shaking right now. Unfortunately, the rest of her people didn't go down with her. They are very uh, loyal to Orin, apparently, but that's fine. That's fine. They're nothing compared to the monster we just had to slay. Karlak with a 25% chance to hit. I'm, I'm obsessed with her. Karlak. Karlak. Karlak, 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 I love you. <laughs> Karlak is the hero of this run. Okay, it's not over yet, though. It's not over yet. few more guys to, to get rid of. Let's clean this up. Perfect. Just the invisible guys left. Allison is such a tank, too. Honestly, there's nothing we can really do until they decide to show themselves. Come on. You're just you're just gonna keep doing that. Alright. Well at least I know exactly where you are, so I'll get Gladys to put down a cloud of daggers. On my way. Oh! Or you can slip on ice. <laughs> GG Gladys. GG. Alright. Well, that's, uh, it's not ideal. We can't do anything until they show themselves. I know where that one is. He's, like, right there. No, that wasn't quite. He's right there. Okay, what if we dismiss our wild shape? And then we can use... Wall of fire right here ish. That's where they are, right? Right here? Yeah. Got him. Okay, Karlak. Just give up! Orin is dead! Alright, fine. You can bur burn to death if that's how you'd rather go out. Fine by me. I wonder if this is worth the cost. It's always worth the cost, Gladys. Always. I'm gonna take down this cult for good. So you can move on with your sweet grandma life. Not have to deal. With your cultist backstory. Finish him off, Karlak. Nice! Done! Down goes Orin and her minions. I didn't think she could look any creepier, and then she turned into that form. You see the disgust on Gladys's face? Wow, she melted! Master, you are the chosen one. <laughs> He is near. He comes for you. Ball? Oh! Um. Butler? I know you said you get killed a lot, but what's happening? Oh my god. What the hell? Ball is here. 
He must be using our butler as his puppet, is he? That's a lot of blood. Gladys, be careful. Don't get too close. I don't like the look of this. Oh god. his affection for you or confirmation that he owns you I mean he doesn't really care about me that much he clearly didn't care when Orin killed me and took everything for herself what gifts does the lord of murder propose the slayer form will be yours made crueler stronger the prize of murder. It seems impossible to stand against your father, but you have fought this long against your nature. There might just be a way. I refuse. I will be free of you. I don't need any of this. The only family I know are those who fight by my side. My sweet, sweet Halson, the rest of my grandkids, they're my true family. My life started the minute I got away from you, Ball. Can you fight it, Gladys? Can you fight it? For the first time in over a century, silence falls over the Baal Temple. No chants, no screams, no prayers. In the end, your own death brought you more joy than any you wrought on this land. You are slipping into peaceful oblivion. But your journey is not over. Thou hast defied Baal, thy liege and father, and in doing so hast earned a place among champions and heroes. But alas, thy courage was in opposition to the divine cosmology that bound thee to the Lord of Murder. Thou art now faithless, godless, and do want to wander the fugue plane for eternity. I will not permit that, though all the powers of life and death dictate that it should be so. I too still hold some power. And I invest a portion of it in thee, who have challenged the gods, and now liveth to tell of it. Thy fight is not over, and it is thy fight. For one who can look upon Baal and oppose him can survive any crisis. So rise, challenger of gods, and prepare for battle once more. Death will not claim thee whilst I endure. That was crazy. Who are you, Withers? A scribe, a seneschal, 
a keeper of records, and now thine advocate, both here and in the city of the dead. Thank you for giving me a second chance. I can't believe I actually died. But Withers, sweet, sweet Withers, he's been keeping an eye on me. He saved me. I can only give what thou hast earned. Baal tried to extinguish thee, but his wrath is imprecise. He only succeeded in killing the part of thee he knew. The urge that drove thee to terrible acts, the spark of brutality that made thee his. But there is a new part of you that hath grown during thy travels. That part Baal could not extinguish, and so, instead of destroying thee, he hath made thee anew. The heart of a savior hath overshadowed the mind of a murderer. Thou hast vanquished thine urge. No way. That's, that's crazy. I actually, I managed to overcome my dark urge. Cured at last, cured. I share thine enthusiasm in mine own manner. Your own stoic manner. Today thou art born anew. Well done. I knew your true nature remained beneath those dark impulses. You are your true self at last. Thank you, Halston. Greet the bloodless dawn, child of none. Thank you. Do not thank me. Trust in thy courage and the conviction of thy companion. As it was, so it is again. A hero has risen from a legacy of death. Is that who I've become? A hero? Oh my gosh. We confronted Baal, we confronted Orin, we died, but we have returned. Shout out to Withers for giving us a second chance. We finally stripped ourselves of the dark urge and have become the hero we've always wanted to be. And hey, we also rescued Lazel. I... I live once more. The Dreadlord's plaything no longer. To camp. I will not let my guard slip again. I swear by Mother Gith's Sion. I'll see you there. Oh, thank God she's okay. <laughs> Speaking of okay, Karlak and Halson are looking a little worse for wear. But the Temple of Baal is eerily, eerily quiet right now. Guys, this Dark Urge playthrough has been incredible. The whole story of coming down here to my old stomping grounds, defying my fate, fighting against Baal, dying but being reborn anew. I don't know about you guys, but that whole thing was really badass. And although Karlak and Allison are look looking a little worse for wear, Gladys is feeling the best she's ever felt. Lazelle has been rescued. The Nether Stone sh has been taken. Poor old uh, Butler is dead. We can take his hat though. That's actually good. The start of combat, the wearer gains momentum equal to their charisma modifier, and you gain advantage on concentrating saving throws. Corroded by Skeletaris' insuant perversion, this little gibbous hat was worn by the butler before he sank throat deep into Ball's clutches. Once, it was beyond besmirchment. Once, it was lovely. It's kind of sad. He believed in me in the end. But alright guys, we've done what we came to do here in the temple. If we come over to Orin's gore pile, disgusting, we can pick up her dagger, a key to the altar, another dagger, her mutilated carapace, the ring of murderous opportunity, and 258 bucks. We also, probably more importantly, got Orin's nether stone, which is the final nether stone that we need. It seems it was embedded in her blade all along. Such 
Kinetic energy permeating you, pulling you in line with their rhythm. The throng quickens, rising, cresting on a single feeling. A location. A morphic pool beneath the city itself. So that's where the chosen imprisoned the brain. Ah. Uh, why would they put it there? To conceal it, one would imagine. And to maintain the illusion of their own control above ground. I'm not ready to face the Elder Brain yet. I need to catch my breath after today's events, and there's still other things we need to do. You are right to be cautious. A fight with the most powerful being in all the realms is not to be entered into ill-prepared. Once we cross into the Elder Brain's domain, there will be no turning back. We will end this one way or another in death, thraldom, or freedom. Finish your business here before you proceed. The Brain will be waiting for us. I love how the Emperor just arrived and talked to us. Like, the last time we talked, we didn't realize his schemes and that he's been trying to use us all along. Anyway, I guess now is not the time to fight about it. Regardless, we have the final nether stone, which means we can take the fight to the Elder Brain when ready, but we're not quite ready. I need to look around a bit more down here. There's lots of dead bodies for us to loot. We also still need to help out some of our companions and go find the dragon in the worm way. So rest assured, our Baldur's Gate 3 journey is not over anytime soon. Hopefully I'll see you guys back here soon as we continue our adventures through Act 3 of Baldur's Gate 3. If not, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode as much as I did. Getting to sort of the conclusion of my Dark Urge storyline was so, so cool, and I loved every second of it. Grandma Gladys the Hero and her companions will be back soon.